All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone who grew well and taught us this truth. They are the true teachers for the nation of Israel on earth today. Sorry. And citation to the Akim out there pushing this truth to sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth and risking their life for, for Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai's sake. We're the brothers from GMS Miami. I'm Brother Samak. I'm your brother Zakaria. Yeah, we're just going to go into, okay, um, what the uh, this year is, coined by Apostle Har. That's right. All right, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. All right, that's the, um, uh, what is it called? The, the uh, slogan. The uh, slogan, you know, the motto. Yeah, the the you know the uh, you know the theme yeah the, the yeah the theme yeah the theme of the year the hopeful year we say hopeful because at the end of the day is of the Lord right okay so the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble and it's necessary all right this has to come to pass all right it must come to pass because the bulk of our people are wicked yeah they're evil they're disgusting they're abominable all right they're monsters they're beasts yeah all right they're demons all right. Great. And, um, you know, from, what is it, yesterday, Cat Williams yeah, yeah. Uh, um, being interviewed, all right, revealing all the wicked stuff that goes on, okay, with the Holly Weird, with the, Holly Weird the, the Jake that are in Holly Weird, yeah. all right, that the bulk of our people worship and idolize, yeah. all right, and then, of course, you have this incident that's now being um, revealed, what happened down here in South Florida in Miami, a bunch of Jakes acting okay, uh, 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 like animals. Yeah. All right, running around, beating people up. Okay, breaking uh, property, setting off firecrackers. Right. All right, which sound like gunshots, and that's why a whole bunch of cops came to uh, Bayside Marketplace. And and if you don't know anything about Bayside Marketplace, all right, it's a very uh, 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 heavily congested area. Yeah. It's a lot of business, a lot of tourism, because yeah. it's right next to the Port of Miami. All right, so uh, you know, and what what the Lord is showing is that yeah, you know, uh, Jacob's trouble is coming. All right, Lord willing, is this year. That's where we say the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Right. So we're gonna start with uh, Jeremiah chapter thirty. Uh, uh, Where's it on the fourth verse? Con, yep, verse and, four. You know, we'll see where the Spirit takes yeah, us. Let's get it. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter thirty and verse four. It says, "And these are the words that the Lord Yahweh Bahashem Yahusha spake." Concerning Israel and concerning Judah. Right. Concerning Israel and concerning Judah. That's who the Lord is dealing with. If you can get me Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Okay. All right. Because Israel and Judah, okay, represent you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Yep. All right. Uh, and, of course, you have the Israelite uh, foreigners that are scattered among the nations that um, may even look like the other nations. Mm -hmm. All right. But the bulk... Of the Israelites, okay, of the tribes of the northern southern kingdom are going to be so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's right. All right, so this is addressed to you. Yep. All right. You got the book of Amos, chapter 3, and verse 1. It says, Hear this word that the Lord have spoken against you, O children of Israel. Right, spoken against you, all right, because the Lord has, okay, prophecies speaking against you, like mm -hmm. Jacob's trouble, which we're going to get into. Continue. Yep. It says, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying... Right, which proves that the, the Lord's only dealing with his people. Yeah. Okay? Th that's it. Who came out of the land of Egypt? Right. The Israelites. The Israelites, yeah. All right? Moses led the Israelites, all right, by Yahweh, by Yahweh Bashem al Shai, okay, via the, the so-called UFO, right. all right, out of Egypt, all right, through the, through the Red Sea, mm -hmm. all right? And then, of course, uh, through the wilderness. Right. All right. That's who the Lord is dealing with. That's it. He you said got it. it. He said it. All right. <laughs> this is the book of um, Amos chapter 3, verse 4. It says, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Mm. I will punish you for all your iniquities. All right. All right. That's why we go on the highways and byways. All right. And lift up our voices like a trumpet. All right. You can get that. Isaiah 58 right. and 1. Okay. To tell our people, okay, that, hey, if you continue in your iniquities, the Lord is going to judge you. Yeah. You got it. This book, Isaiah chapter 58, and verse 1, it says, cry aloud, spare not. Right. We're not sparing your feelings. Yeah. Okay. We're not here to change our our, our tone of voice to fit your little, okay, 
uh, insecure or your uh, uh, a weak mind. Yeah. All right. We're here to tell you. All right. This is thus saith the Lord. This is what the Bible says. Yeah. Okay. Jacob's trouble is coming. A lot of our people will be put down. Yep. Okay. A lot of death in a horrible way. Mm -hmm. Okay. Purge like scenario. Watch the movie Purge. Right. First Purge. Purge election. Yeah. So on and so forth. Watch right. that. <laughs> You got it. Get your mind ready. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Isaiah 58 and 1 says, Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins. That's right. Because who can sin against the, the Lord? All right. His people. Mm -hmm. Why? Because they were given the law, statutes, and commandments. Con, I got a precept. Con. What is, what is sin? A lot of mm -hmm. our people don't even know what sin is. Right. right. It's the book of uh, 1 John chapter 3 and verse uh, 9. No, uh, three and uh, four. So, like, First John chapter three, verse four says, "Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law." We tell our people, "Hey, you sinning, you transgressing the law, man. You worship mother idols, all right? You uh, adulterers, adulterers, adulteresses, all right? Murderers, robbers, thieves. Hey, you gonna get judged for that? That's why the Lord's got the Lord is stacking up our our people iniquity, so he about to bring that hammer upon right. them, man. That's why that Cat Williams uh, interview was uh, yeah. so spiritual because yeah. everything's being revealed, man. Yeah. Okay, Cat Williams didn't even give a damn. Yeah. All right, and he's off too. <laughs> yeah, he's but, off too. But but yeah. he was throwing out truth, bro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she got like eighteen million views. Eighteen million views, yeah. man. Okay, and and y'all, you Jakes, okay, you basically the Lord setting up that you. All right, uh, are put in a situation that you need to choose uh, this day who you gonna serve. Yeah, you gonna serve. Who ye this day was it in Joshua? Yeah, Joshua, was it, for right now. yeah cop was it twenty four? I brought it out this God. um in one of my lessons um today. I think it was one of the, the last chapter. Choose ye this day. Uh, yeah. Bear with me. Uh, uh, Cause got you. you got it. Nah, you can look it up. Okay, cause um, choose ye this day. Uh, okay, I got twenty four and fifteen. Joshua okay. twenty four and fifteen. Okay, mm -hmm. this book of Joshua chapter twenty four, in verse yeah, uh, Joshua twenty four and verse fifteen. I'll start at verse fourteen. Joshua twenty four and verse fourteen says, "Now therefore fear the Lord and serve Him in sincerity and in truth." Woo, fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's the beginning of wisdom and knowledge. Right. You got it? So you got to serve the Lord in sincerity and truth, man. Mm -hmm. It says, um, I'll read it again. It says, Now therefore fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and in truth and put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood mm -hmm. and in Egypt and serve ye the Lord. That's what you're supposed to do, man. So verse 15 says, And if it seem, and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day. Whom ye will serve. Right, and that's the that's the point right there because all right, like again with this whole Cat Williams, it, it everything's being revealed. All right. He he calls gate he's bringing up Illuminati, yeah, uh Ludacris sold out to Illuminati, get a whole bunch of uh, uh yeah. money, uh the gatekeepers, as you said. Yeah, yeah. All right, he kept saying, I didn't have to get on my knees, yeah. I didn't have to take it up the rear end. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is this is hey, it's everything's coming out, so it goes to show you. Okay, that the bulk the bulk of our people, all right, uh, you're being put all right to having to choose. Are you going to choose to serve the Lord, or you can continue to follow the ways of this wicked world? Yep. Okay, and, and and basically, all right, um, be okay with all the wickedness that's going on here in Babylon the Great and in the world. Yeah. All right. That, and notice how Cat Williams said what he needed to say, and then you have the whole Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah. Everything's coming together. All right. All right. This whole world is ran in wickedness. All the wickedness is ran by the the leadership on down. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of our people that sold out just for some crumbs. Yeah. Just so they could have a couple of dollars in their bank account. Right. And they sold out. They thought it was going to be revealed, but the Lord is revealing it. Right. So you look dumb both ways, man. Right. And that's why you got to choose <laughs> yeah. because the Lord is drawing a, a line in the sand. Right. Because everything has to be revealed before the destruction. You got it. Uh, this is the book of Joshua, chapter 24, verse 15. It says, And if and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood or the gods of the Amorites in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Right, and that's who, and who's doing that? The elect. Yep. 
Okay, but as me, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Yeah, how about you, my shot? Okay, and that's why we didn't uh, uh, go back into the world. We didn't, you know, when things got uh, 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 tight all of a sudden. Yeah. Nah, I, I don't want to teach anymore. I want to take my hand off the plow and, and get a college education or whatever, you know, bugged out uh, reasoning why you had to leave the truth. Mm -hmm. or, you, or some of y'all changing the doctrine at the very end. Right. Just crazy. Hey, niggas in Boston just... Talking about everybody can be saved. I know, now. and all you, of a sudden, all bro. of a sudden, and you, and some of them were like, you were looked at yeah. them like, wow, these were great teachers. Bro, I was saying that last night. These man. were great teachers. You know, some of them individuals in Boston were very great. You know, eloquent. Okay, got this breaking down. You were, you were learning from them, and all yeah. of a sudden, one day they're they're bringing out the same scriptures and they changing it up. Yeah, you know, um, say, uh, knowledge perfect. Uh, up, knowledge man. perfect up, and could it be fear? Could it be they sold out? Yeah, yeah. That was, all right? I was thinking that too, yeah. You know, we don't know, all right? Only the Lord knows. Again, everything has to be revealed in its time. Mm -hmm. And that's why the Lord hasn't come back because the things like that have to be revealed. Right. All right? So that, oh, just imagine the Lord came. Okay, either way, they would have got judged. All right. But it's like, damn, you you are my you are my Sami teacher. Yeah. And you thought about this the whole time? So you've been bullshit. You've been a fake, a, a <laughs> fraud, demon. a phony the whole damn like, time. Like Judas. Like a Judas just... <laughs> Nah, so certain things have to be revealed. Yeah, Lord is sifting. You know, Lord is sifting. Always sifting. Kind of, I got a precept to back that up. This is a Malachi, or the back of uh, Joshua. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 3 and verse 18. It says, Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth the Most High and him that serveth him not. So the Lord gave us his wisdom, knowledge, understanding. Now we uh, understand who's serving the Lord and who's who's not serving right. the Lord, man. They made it in their side. They they made their side, and the Lord gave us, you know, the, the wisdom, knowledge, understanding to see, man, who the true believers are and who who's just fucking sellouts and fakes, man. Yep, man. It's beautiful yeah. that this is coming out in 2024, mm -hmm. the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Yeah. See, the Lord is making it okay, a uh, 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 plain why he's going to destroy two thirds of our people here in Babylon and Great. Yep. It's it's plain now, yeah. right? There is no. Well, you know, no, 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 no. Everything is being revealed yeah, that, yeah. yeah, I'm going to kill yeah. these two-thirds Negroes, Latinos, <laughs> right, and right. the Americans because they ain't right, man. Yeah, I got a precept for that. He's, uh, he's a, our Lord said it. I mean, got T.D. Jakes and Pete yeah, Diddy, yeah. all right, which Cat Williams went into. Yeah. All right? He's like, you should know about Pete Diddy's parties. Yeah. You got to say no. You got to say no to this guy. You got to say no. What is, you know, with that voice of yeah. this, you know? Like, uh, come on, man. Yeah, you know, everybody's wearing a dress. Yeah. All right. And that's another thing. I, You know, I totally, it slipped my mind, but, you know, uh, you know how Dave Chappelle was like, you know, they try to make me wear a dress yeah. um, in um, Blue Streak. Right. But guess what? Dave Chappelle been wore a dress. Mm. Robin Hood, men in tights. Mm. He wore a dress then. And he and he played an effeminate uh, LGBTQT role uh, um, with um, what's this called the radio? Uh, uh, fuck is his name? All right, he's a bugged out. Uh, uh, he had a a a a, a, mo a movie. Uh, what's it called? Damn, what is his name? It's at the tip of my tongue. Cuban Goody? Nah, nah, nah. He's a radio show host. Oh, he's a radio show. I radio think show is like played a, in the movie. Radio. He play, yeah, yeah. He played. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, you could Google it. I'm gonna Google it, I, right? I'm gonna get a preset. Yeah, right. but it goes to show you that you know even Dave Chappelle's full of shit. Yeah. All right, because he was wearing a dress and he was being feminine too in in his early days, yeah, man. You see all these actors. Yeah, man. all of them. Uh, Martin. Martin, all of them, man. So you know, Cat Williams said was on point. He's like, no, nah, I'm not wearing no dress. And I ain't getting on my knees and I'm not bending over. Yeah, man. gonna be in the rape scene. Yeah, and that whole thing with the rape scene, which, which, what the hell is his name? Uh, 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 Ricky Smiley? Not Ricky Smiley. Uh, Ice Cube had to address. And it took him nine minutes to address that. Like, well, you know, none of my actors, I don't, I don't put, make sure the script that they're getting raped. And people, people are like, yo, why is this taking nine minutes just to talk about this? Yeah. So it goes to show you that, you know, Cat Williams, like, no. We're gonna change this whole thing yeah. around. I'm not getting raped, all right. <laughs> Period. And Ice Cube is another one that's sold out too. We, you know, that's another topic. Yeah. But you could t you could see like certain there are certain um, celebrities that they just kept going up, yeah. and you're like, why they keep going up? Well, people like Cat Williams all of a sudden they're getting branded like they're the worst yeah, thing they're out. Crazy, yeah, crazy. Oh, before I came in the truth, I thought this nigga was. Oh. 
yeah. uh, bug out. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'll bring this out. This is uh, Luke chapter 8, verse 17. It says, For nothing is secret mm -hmm. that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad, man. So the Lord is revealing everything, man. Mm -hmm. You try to hide secrets, now nah, you're going to come out plain, all right, in front of everybody, man. That's how the Lord works, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Man, I'm trying to figure out who that dude was. <laughs> it was in the 90s. Uh, he was. They had a, he even had a movie about him. And um, he was very controversial. He had all. He was like a Jerry Springer, but on the radio show. Mm. And um, but uh, Dave Chappelle was on that. Was on his show, acting like a freaking woman. Got lipstick on and all this shit. Man, what the fuck? Okay, it'll come back to yeah, me. Yeah, it's all good. You got it, brother. Yeah, you just know that he is a wicked demon. Yeah, so but, but watch the movie. Um, um, uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights. Dave Chappelle dressed up like a woman and said, my, my purse don't match with my dress. Okay? Yeah. So oh, no. he's yeah. full of shit too. Yeah. Okay? And then they try to come to their senses after yeah. they get exposed. Yep. This is uh, Becca, uh, Jeremiah, then you have Howard, Howard Stern. Oh, Howard Stern. Yeah, That yeah. fucking guy. Right now, yeah. He was on Howard Stern. So Google mm -hmm. it. Howard Stern. Yeah. That Dave was... Chappelle acting like a fucking Momo, man. All yeah. right? So he's another he's yeah. another one. His shows be crazy. Yeah, he has weirdos on there all the time. But uh, this is Jeremiah chapter thirty <clears throat> in verse four again it says, "And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah." Mm -hmm. Verse five it says, "For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace." Right, and that's what's coming: trembling, fear. Ain't no peace coming to you, tribes, man. Yeah. All right, the Lord's bringing judgment. All right, that's why he has his prophets out. To push the word so there's no excuses. You're being marked. Yep. Whether you believe or not, you're still being marked. You got sure. it. I got a piece up for mm -hmm. that. This book is Ezekiel chapter 7 mm. in verse uh, 25. It says, Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Man. Mm -hmm. So destruction's coming to this place. Our people are trying to seek peace, but there ain't going to be none, man. The scripture say when, when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them, man. You know? But Jeremiah 30 in verse 5 again says, But thus said the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Verse 6, it says, Actually now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Mm -hmm. So a man going to be like a woman having birth claims, man. Screaming and hollering. Now, all right, the scripture said, The mighty man shall cry their ability. Bitterly, this is the time that we come into, man. The, the, the Bible don't lie, man. Right. It's about to happen in our lifetime. Man, 2024 has been litty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Earthquakes, okay? Uh, uh, more uh, bombings. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's it called? In Iran, there was a whole bunch of killings done on the anniversary of that general, that uh, Donald Trump, Sadamani, yeah. which is pissing them off. Yeah. You got Hezbollah, okay? Uh, 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 they're getting destroyed in the capital of Beirut. Yeah. You got all these wars in the Middle East, the earthquakes. You got uh, the election year, yeah. okay. Then you got Jake being a, a complete demon down here in South Florida, bugged out, bugged out. Where you know, what's going on? Yeah. So <laughs> it, everything's being high. And then and then people just getting put to death. And, yeah, and, you know. Then you had that but that Jake that got so angry, jumped they, over. They jumped <laughs> over like as a lion. Yeah, and and tackled that uh, uh judge. that female judge was just totally off. No right. women's supposed to be a judge. Right. That's how you know this whole society's backward. That's why this place getting this yeah. place got to go. Yeah, she was being emotional. Yeah. So, um, but hey, the point is a lot of fear, a lot of trembling. Okay, is coming to the world. All right, and you, Jakes, you're gonna be fearing, you're gonna be trembling, man. Yep. Okay, you gonna have to worry about your own neighbor. Okay, robbing you and stealing and killing you yeah, yeah. for whatever scraps you have. Yep. All right, like like that Jake that jumped over that. That, um, yeah, he, didn't give a fuck. he didn't care, man. He lost it all. Yeah. He was like, screw it. So imagine Jake on Jake. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of Jake on Jake crime. Oh, yeah. That's going to be worse. You know? You got it. Uh, Jeremiah 30 and verse 7. It says, at last, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. So it's going to be a time like never before, a time like uh, Jacob's trouble. But the Lord said the elect is going to be saved out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, We're going to see Esau, Edom, and so-called white men come down. Upon our people having great rap because that's the Lord's using him, man. Yep. That's why they, all these videos, Jake going like wild animals. The solution is gonna be bring the military in, man. Yep. All right. Uh, or deputize these people, man. It's gonna be a war out here, man. Yep. And <laughs> hey, if Donald Trump becomes president, he he wants to use the military. Yep. 
all right, if these cities act crazy because he's president. And you know they're going to have Jake, um, even though it's going to be mainly Edomites causing the right. destruction, because the Edomites always cover their face, all right, the, uh, the Antifa yeah, yeah. group and all of them, but they're going to still have the camera on the small group of Jake yep. that's in, in there, you know, breaking stuff. Yeah, they're going to demonize them. They're going to demonize them because it's time, man, you know. Um, you want that Ezekiel? Yeah, Ezekiel 7. The end is near. Because that's what we're coming to, man. Because we're, we're at the end, man. Yep. You know? This whole, you know, oh, things are going to continue as, as they were. Uh, nah, man. It, it, I know. It's going to change rapidly. Yep. All right? It, it's going to change rapidly. Wait till that economy changes. You know how I many people going to bug out and freak out? Mm -hmm. Especially these old heads that don't know how to use the, 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 the new technology that's coming. Yeah. All right? They're going to bug out. Yeah, they're going to lose it. Yeah. <laughs> it's because Ezekiel chapter 7. Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse, I'll start at verse 5. It says, Thus saith the Lord power and evil and only evil, behold, is come. Mm -hmm. But evil is, is coming to this scripture, uh, coming to this place. Scripture say, uh, perilous times in the last days, perilous times shall shall come, man. Mm -hmm. All right. This is uh, verse um, 6. It says, The end is come. The end is come. It watches for thee. Behold, it is come. There you go. It watches for thee. Yep. All right. And that's why you need to be watching. All right, so you know, man, the end is coming. Oh, yeah. let me be, let me be, all right, in in the in the right spirit, meaning serving the Lord, taking heed to His word, taking heed to the prophets, all right, obeying His commandments, all right, doing what you need to do, so that when the Lord brings that that judgment, because we're in the end times, you'll be protected. Right. All right. What is uh, if you could get up? Uh, what is it? Proverbs: A prudent man foreseeth the evil hide of himself, yep. but the simple pass on and are punished. This is the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 3. It says, A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple paths on and are punished. And that's going to be a, a, a story for a lot of you jakes, man. Being simple, passing on, you know, not taking heed to, to what the apostles saying, what the brothers, the Akim saying. You know, we out on the highways of always prophesying, telling our people the truth, man. You, your own family members don't even listen to you. All yep. right, because they're simple. They're gonna they're gonna be punished, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna go with to that Ezekiel. I'm gonna start at, at verse one mm -hmm. because he said he's gonna judge him uh, for a reason. Ezekiel seven verse one says, "Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus saith the Lord, power unto the land of Israel, which is which is talk about a people before a, a place. Now he's talking about Israel, man. It says." And in the end is come upon the four corners of the land, or here in Babylon. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, mm. and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations, man. So you're gonna get paid for, for what you what you did, man. That's why a lot of the people are gonna get put to death because why the Lord is judging them for for their sins, man. They're That's not right. repenting. That's right. right. Verse 4 says, My eyes shall not spare thee. Neither will I have pity. Mm. That's why the scripture says spirits are created for vengeance, man. Mm. Yeah, you get that. We man. gonna get that. We gotta get that. Yeah. That that's a that's basic Hebrew Israelite, okay, one on one right there. Yeah, the Lord said he gonna he's not gonna spare you. He's not gonna have pity. You got it, brother. Uh, Ecclesiasticus, also known as the Book of Sirach, chapter thirty nine, verse twenty eight. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, mm -hmm. um, and who creates the spirits? High. The Most High. That's father why he's known. Spirits. He's known as the Father of Spirits. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. Which in their fury lay on sore strokes in the time of destruction. In the time, and we're in the time Con. of the destruction. Yep. Okay, we're in that time. They pour out their force and appease the wrath of Him that made them. Mm -hmm. So these spirits for vengeance are made by the Heavenly Father. Yeah. That's why He's to be feared and to be reverenced and to be obeyed. Mm -hmm. Twenty nine fire. And hell, and famine, and death—all these were created for vengeance. Yep. So when somebody dies by fire, that was created for vengeance. Yep. When somebody dies from famine, which we clearly see famine, yep. you even got the military in America in famine. Yeah. You got old people here in America in famine. You know what famine means? Hungry. Yeah. Me hungry. <laughs> me 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 go moving drastic measures. Yeah. That was that was that Benjamin, Benjamin down yeah, here yeah, in yeah. South Florida. Okay. And death. All these are were created for vengeance. Thirty teeth of wild beast. Yep. And scorpions, serpents, and the sword. My, what's the sword today? The blickies. The blicky blicky. You know. <laughs> the 
gun, yeah. The gun, G U N. Yeah. My buddy, my buddy, remember you know, all you 50 Cent fans out there, right? right. Punishing the wicked to destruction. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yep. So, 30, 31, they shall rejoice in his commandment. Right, because who is, is um, uh, um, moving these judgments, all right? The angels, by under the commandment of the Lord. Yep. That, that's why they're, they're, what are they? they're rejoicing in his commandment. Yeah. All right, the angels are the ones doing it, all right? All right, by by take it by obeying the commandment of the Lord, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is, and when their time has come, they shall not transgress His word. Right? See, there you go. Yeah, they love to do His bidding. They love to do His bidding. That's right. Come, this is um, I read uh, Ezekiel seven. I got a precept for it. This is, uh, Ezekiel chapter seven and verse four. It says, "My eye shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee." And thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee, mm. and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So our people are gonna know, all right, this is the judgment uh, from Yahweh Bashim al Shad. This book of Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 30 says, And we know him that have said, Vengeance belongeth unto me, I will recompense, recompense mean and pay back. It says, saith the Lord, and again the Lord shall judge his people. Mm. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord, man. Lord, have you get hit by a car, man? Have you in a coma? Lord, send blindness upon you. Get hit with a lightning strike. Drown to death. Mm -hmm. Get burned up in the house. Get teeth. Get, get ripped up by your own little dog. Yep. This is what time. This you, it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord, man. Get mm -hmm. get get uh, shot up. Yep. <laughs> the police just yeah. blow, you, <laughs> blow away. you away. And that's what it's looking like. Starve to death. All yeah. You know, starve to death. <laughs> it looking like because when that event happened. Uh, it would happen on Monday with uh, Jake. Oh, it said over fifty. You know, they said teenagers, but you're adults. Yeah. You know, you're in your. You know, if you're after the age of twelve, you're considered adult yeah. according to the the law, according to the Bible. Um, it said over fifty just running around beating people up. All right, breaking shit, lighting off firecrackers at Bayside Marketplace. Yeah. That alone, the cops. First of all, firecrackers sound like gunshots. And you and all you're hearing people calling because you know Esau gonna call nine one one. There's a whole bunch of black chill teenagers running around beating people and breaking things. That's yeah. why the cops swarmed in. Yeah. Now of course there was some uh, um, rumors that there was uh, dark uh, uh, shadowy figures. Um, you know some were saying they were aliens, so called. Hey, I looked at it as hey these are you know angels, demons working the left hand side. Working on the minds of these jakes. Yeah. All right. So these are, you know, that's what it was. Right, right, that's what right. people saw that those apparitions, those spirits. Yeah. You know. Lord, Lord, revealing. Revealing. Okay. <laughs> Working on the Damn. minds of these jakes because they're off anyway, giving them over to their lust. Because what's mm -hmm. on their mind? Kill, kill, kill. kill. Murder, murder, murder. Yeah. Okay. St steal, rob, uh, maim. All right. Uh, nothing but uh, darkness is in their mind. Yeah. So Pre like the like the elders in Dallas say. Uh, pre-flood behavior Pre you know yeah <laughs> how they act how people was acting before the flood that's how they acted now acting right? now that's right that's why that fire is coming yep man. so um and it's just painting a narrative for what narrative for what jacob's trouble yep okay and that's how you know it's coming okay that's why 2024 is deemed the hopeful year of jacob's trouble yeah you know yep that's what so low one is this less edifying. You know, you, you got it, bro. Uh, so low one is the sit down. This lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory. Unto Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Kodash. All right, we want to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. We want to give up peace and greetings and salutations to all the Lekakim. That's pushed his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom. And keep fighting, keep enduring. Shalom. Shalom.